Hello, how are you? I know it's been a while, but I'm back and I'm ready to spill all the tea. So basically, here's how it went down. Wait, no, let me start how I feel about it first. No, you know what? Yeah, let's do the story. Okay, so I don't know when this was. This has to be like a couple of months ago. It can't be that old. And I was on video call with my nigga, my man, right? Or at least that's what in, in what's in my mind because that's what he been he been telling me. I don't know what he's been telling her. He says he's been telling her that they're not in a committed relationship and that they're like basically just co-parenting. Really, you know. So, you know, I just want to put that out there. So we were on the video call, and I guess he was in his car. He was in the passenger seat of his car. I don't know how his baby mama saw. I guess she was stalking, creeping, okay? Because I, she saw me, and she, girl, when I, let me tell y'all something. The way she was yelling and cussing at this man, you would have thought he was her child. Okay, you would have thought this was a prison inmate hoeing another prison inmate, like punking another prison inmate. Like the way she was just so aggressive, like she was so masculine and manly. It was like, girl, no wonder he ain't claiming you don't want to be with you. You mean, stuck up and rude. Like, no wonder he ain't with you. Like, <laughs> and we just gonna be real about it. She might have a hormone imbalance. She might got too much testosterone up in that body. Like, if we just gonna be keeping it real, I don't know. But I just know she was sounding hella aggressive over that phone, yelling, cussing, being a hood rat, and doing the most over because you saw him talking to a girl. Like, okay, and? Like, and okay, so basically she's yelling and cussing at him, the phone hangs up. Then they call back. Then she wants to talk to me. And let me tell y'all something about me real quick. I am articulate, I'm educated, I'm smart, I'm classy, I'm ladylike. I was raised in the suburbs by a Christian conservative family. I do not do all that. Okay? And that's just a little something about this me, me, okay? So she's um like trying to be a little interviewer trying to be the police talking about oh who are you what are you doing um and i'm like oh girl i'm just the girl talking to talking to you you know your baby daddy like it's no shade no tea no disrespect it's just he really ain't claiming you you're really not wife material. You, you're not, he's not going to give you no ring. You're probably not going to ever get a ring with how masculine and rude and disrespectful you are. Just keeping it real. And he tells me all the time how emotionally neglectful she is. Like, she don't want to talk to him. She don't want to, like, she don't take care of him. Like, the only thing she's good for is laying on her back. And that's about it. And being a mommy. That's about it. Um... So it's like she was just yelling and cussing. And I was like, why are you so aggressive? Like, babe, why are you so angry? Like, is she really delusional? Like, you really think this guy, you really think this man is like your, your husband? Like, y'all aren't married. Y'all aren't in a relationship. What's the problem? Like, well, she's so delulu. She's so delusional. She really think this man is her nigga. She really think they in a committed relationship. Baby, you're a piece of meat to that nigga, bro. And we gonna keep it real. We gonna keep it a butt game. You really a piece of meat to that man. Like, and we just gonna be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm telling her, like, why are you so aggressive? And she's like, oh, baby, that's just how I am. I'm like, mm, well, that ain't my problem. That's not how I roll. I'm a lady. I'm ladylike, so I don't got to yell and scream and cuss and act a fool and act like a ghetto hood rat with no class or sensibilities. I don't got to do that because I'm educated. I'm articulate. I'm smart. I can use my words because I'm expressive. I don't need to fight. She wanted to fight. Then to she was saying, she was saying fighting words. Head up, fade up, 30 seconds. I'm not doing all that, miss. I'm not doing all this, ma'am. And, and the thing is, she's older than me. She's about a good three years older than me. So, miss, at your big old age, at your big old age, you mean to tell me you're going to argue with somebody who's not even on in your age bracket? Like, how immature and dumb are you? Like, are you serious? 
And so, yeah, I was telling her, oh, you aggressive. She's like, oh, yeah, that's just how I am. And she's telling me, like, well, since you want to be with him, you can take care of him. You can... Da -da 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 -da. I don't care about none of the BS she's talking about because she's a ghetto hood rat and she's dumb and she's stupid. And she really just a little girl to me. She's a little girl to me and... I really feel like she's just a little girl to me because she probably got daddy issues and that's why she with this old nigga now. Like, just keeping a bang. And it's crazy how she goes so hard for this nigga and this nigga don't even claim her. This nigga don't even like her like that. He told me himself straight up, if I would've never had a baby with her, I would've never stayed with her. I would've never been with her. You know why? Because you're mean. You're emotionally neglectful. You're not a lady. He wants a feminine, nice girl that you're not. You want to be a street thug so bad. You want to be hard so bad. You want to be a tough little cookie so bad. Like, shut up and go get some testosterone. Go get some estrogen. Because you just out here looking stupid, fighting over a nigga that don't even claim you. I wish. I wish I would do that. I wish I would make myself look stupid and fight over a nigga that's not even mine. That's not even mine. Like, come on, bro. Like, let's just be real. That You look... That's embarrassing. Have, have some self-respect. You look stupid, Grand. Like, just keeping it real. Like... And, yeah, so... Then she started... I hung up on her. Because I'm not just to argue with you. I don't gotta argue with you. You're not on my level. Like, I'm up here. And she's down here. Like, my intellect... The way I articulate myself... She's just not for it, babe. She's not on my level, babe. Like, if we just want to keep it real, she's not. So, when I'm going to sit here on the phone, what I look like arguing with a fool over the phone, guess what? That makes me look like a fool. Because why are you arguing with somebody that's beneath you? That don't make no sense. I know I'm right. I know I'm cool, calm, and collected. I'm keeping my, like, I'm keeping my cool because I'm not, let, I'm not, and y'all, she was so angry. She was yelling and cussing like at the top of her lungs. Like, and it's just like, I can never have a hoe pressed and stressed. I can never let a hoe make me pressed and stressed. I can never let a hoe take my joy and spirit. I can never let a hoe make me angry because I don't care. I don't care. Like, honestly, it was really embarrassing because it's like, we finna get married. Me and her baby daddy finna get married, having babies, and she over here looking stupid talking about this my nigga, but we over here talking about marriage and having kids. Like, you look stupid. You embarrassing yourself, baby. And then, like, yeah, she was just be having a temper tantrum, as usual, because she a little girl. And after she got done with a temper tantrum or whatever, I hung up on her. Because you was not supposed to sit and yell and kiss in my face like you my mama. Like, who are you, sweetheart? Nobody knows you. Like, what do you do? What do you do? Like, let's just be honest, y'all. And, like, I don't want nothing to do with her. I just don't. And it's giving jealous. It's giving insecure. It's giving you don't know your place in the world. It's giving daddy issues. Like, it's just giving a lot. And it's not good. Like, it's not good at all. And, um, yeah, y'all, that's the story. That's what happened. That's how I feel about it. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about it, though, because at the end of the day, um, I, the only thing I'm worried about is me and my man. Um, yeah. And, like, she was like, where's she at? Where's she at? Like, she want to fight me so bad. I'm not fist to fight. This girl is a, is a midget with a stripper's body. She's, like, 5'2 and, like, 160 pounds. Almost 200 pounds. What I look like, y'all, yeah, come on, bro. Come on. Like, you don't want to do that, sis. You don't want to do that, sis. Like, come on, bro. Like, no. No. Yeah, that's what happened. That's how I feel about it. You let me know in the comments how what you would do, how you feel about it. Like, let me know because I'm interested. Okay, bye, y'all.